Hello, my besties. How are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. I'm so excited today because I'm hanging out with my gnomies and I'm going to be making even more some really creative ideas and as usual just repurposing some old clothes and items we have around the house so we're barely going to spend anything, okay? <laughs> if you like these ideas, please make sure you hit the like button. Also, the moment you hit the red button, you automatically become my bestie. And we're gonna have so much fun, you're not gonna miss any of my future videos, okay? Just make sure you press that little notification bell button so that way YouTube will let you know when I'm back here with a new video, okay? So let's get started! Also, stay tuned through the end of the video to see my adorable gnome shopping haul. I am here with my three little besties today and we are excited to make some spring gnomes. We're gonna be using the same pattern as for the bunny gnomes. It is very simple and available to all of you for free in my Facebook group, My DIY Besties. I will provide a link for you in the description box below. So just like with the bunny gnomes, we cut the body out of the sleeve of an old shirt about eight inches long, and then we cut the hat. You can freehand it or use my pattern. Very simple. Next, you are going to fill the body of the gnome with some rice and pillow stuffing and tie it up with a rubber band. We used hot glue to seam together the side of the hat. When you flip it over, you got a cute little hat. You might just need a pencil to turn that tip out. Of course, the hat won't stand up. You still need to add some pipe cleaners or a wire in there and then fill it up with some pillow stuffing. And you know what we like to use for the gnome's nose? <laughs> yes, a walnut! <laughs> Next, we are making the braids out of the roving yarn. My besties decided to make all girls gnomes today, but I'm making a boy later on in this video, so keep watching! <laughs> and then you put your gnome together, just attach the hat to the tip of the nose, a little bit hot glue on the sides in the back, and you are almost done! These are spring gnomes, so you can decorate them with flowers, butterflies, wherever you wish. I thought the little besties were so creative and they really brought their gnomes to life. What do you think? The colors remind me of cat and candy. I also decided to cut out a new hat pattern for you. I call it European style because I remember these gnomes back in my country. They were a little bit different. So you are going to just print the pattern, cut it out, pin it down to your fabric and then cut out the shape. Thank you. 
and yes, we are going to make two at the same time, boy and a girl. And I took advantage of the different shades of fabric. I cut one uh, where it was more blue and another one more pink. You can also use two different fabrics. And then for the body of the gnome, I'm gonna use my daughter's old sweatshirt. You know, I need the sleeves. Leggings work great here too. You just cut about eight inches of length. You turn it inside out, tie one end with a rubber band, turn it back out, fill it up with the rice and some pillow stuffing, and you get a body of a thumb. Easy as that. And of course, I'm making two at a time. We are going to use walnuts for noses, of course. Some roving yarn for girls' braids. And for the boy, surprise, some pillow stuffing. <laughs> I want it to look like sweet cotton candy, so I'm going to color it with my pink and blue eyeshadows. I also shape it like a little heart, so it looks like a beard. Yay, it worked! <laughs> We're going to do the same with the girl's hair. Let's make the braids. I cut six pieces of yarn about seven inches long, uh, tie it together with a rubber band and braid it. If you're using regular yarn, obviously you're gonna have to cut a lot more pieces, right? To get the thickness. It looks so real. I wish it translated better on camera. And then I used a little bit of my glitter spray and that took it even to another level. Just gorgeous. I hope you're gonna try it and see in person how it looks. All right, let's attach these. Just make sure the seam is in the back and we put the hair and the beard to the front. Um, as to the braids, we just tie these down with a rubber band. You can also add some hot glue if you like. Next, we glue the noses. Our hats are already cut out. We are going to hot glue the seam on the inside. Look at 
let it dry for a moment and do the second one. All right, let's turn it to the right side and let's see if it worked. Hopefully it's a good pattern. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, and here's the look at those hats, the European style. <laughs> Actually, all gnomes originate from Europe, right? But this is the shape I can remember. I'm happy it came out and I hope you guys like it. I like to add the pipe cleaners to my hats. That way I can shape them, bend them. And also I'm able to make them stand up. Even if my fabric is not stiff, they still stand up nice, right? So this is a good trick. You can use that with any type of fabric. You're not so limited. Next, I add some pillow stuffing. All right, let's see how these babies fit. <laughs> Fit like a glove. Oh, so cute, isn't it? I love it. Such a cute couple, isn't it? They're so cute, I just want to eat them. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have to show you something. Look at this bird playing peekaboo with me. <laughs> Be 
peekaboo, Tweety. What do you think? I don't see you. Let's add the dangling legs to our gnomes. We cut five by two pieces of fabric and then we fold over the edge on one side and on the other side towards the middle. And then we're going to fold it in half one more time and get that perfect leg. Very simple, perfect little leg. We repeat the same steps for the two legs and then four for both gnomes. You trim it a little bit, make sure your legs are even. Okay, we got the legs ready. Let's make some boots now. We are just going to use a sheet of felt. You can get it for 30 something cents at Walmart. And again, you can freehand these or you can use my pattern. And I also made a pattern for little gloves as well. Tweety, please stop bothering me right now. <laughs> Look at Coco, she's such a good girl taking a nap, but not Tweety, not the naughty bird. <laughs> I think she wants to steal something actually. I'm trying to pin down the boot and I'm just gonna double up the fabric. I don't even need to use the extra pattern. It is the same shape. You saw that? What a little thief. She loves the pins and uh, you know, the, the beads at the tips. She loves anything shiny. All right, so I cut four boots per gnome, eight all together because I wanna double them up. And next I'm cutting out the gloves and I'm gonna wind up doubling up on those two. My felt is uh, really not that thick and I think it needs to be doubled uh, together. You'll see. Tweety, you gotta stop jumping. You see the tail sticking out? That's Tweety right there. Just such a naughty bird. I'm sorry if the picture is shaking. <laughs> All right, uh, so we are going to put this together just like so. All right, look at this. Isn't it darling? I think it's gonna look beautiful. And uh, we're gonna repeat same steps with all the legs and then we're going to just finish them off with a little trim. Look for the Southwest Llama ribbon at a Dollar Tree. I think it's perfect for this. We're just gonna wrap it around and attach it to the top of the boot. That llama ribbon has different segments, as you can see, so you can uh, make your trim slightly different for a boy and girl. I like that. You're gonna have to also trace the bottom of your gnome, cut out a circle of felt, and use that to attach the legs. I repeat the same for both gnomes 
and then I let them dangle while I make a tutu skirt for the girl. Real easy, we're just gonna use some tulle and floral wire from Dollar Tree. We are going to fold the tulle in half and use the floral wire to thread it in and out through the top of the skirt to make it nice and fluffy, okay? Twist that wire up so it doesn't escape for you. And you continue adding the ruffles until you get a nice full skirt. Okay, let's do a fitting. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Is she fabulous or what? <laughs> I think it's gonna fit her just right. We can cut the tulle and tie the wires together in the back. Next, I want to give my gnomes hands because I want them to hold the cupcakes or anything sweet would be cute. If you don't have these ornaments, there were also these cupcake felt stickers at Dollar Tree, could be lollipops, really anything. Uh, so uh, let's see, this is what I'm gonna do. I double up on the gloves. I got the cupcakes here and I decided to make little hands, uh, shorter than the legs, uh, maybe two, three inches, no more than that. And I'm going to attach them just like I did with the boots. So I got two little hands and they're gonna hold the cupcake just like that. At first I thought I was gonna just get away with making the gloves, but I guess depending on what your gnome is holding, you might need those arms as well. Also for the boy, I had to trim the arm real short because he's holding a cupcake on the side and, and there's a beard in the middle. The girl on the other hand was, had the cupcake in the middle in front of her so the arms needed to be longer. You will figure this out and adjust accordingly. I decided to add two little buttons for the girl because she seemed a little bit plain over here in the front and I think it just pulled the look together with her little socks boots matching over there. You see that? Wait a minute, Tweety, leave those sprinkles alone. Let me show you how to make a cute, easy lollipop out of Dollar Tree items. All we have to do is thread uh, the vase filler on the skewer, just like that. You can play around with the color and sizes, adjust it as you wish. And then when you like the way it looks, you cover the skewer with the straw. So it gives it a nice finished look and you attach everything with hot glue. You trim it to size and ta-da! Perfect little lollipop, especially the male gnome has an empty hand. <laughs> And I think I'm going to stop here. Take a look at my sweet cat and candy knobs and let me know how you like them.
And now, my dear besties, I want to share with you my Dollar Tree gnome haul. I'm so excited to find these adorable gnome plaques. Aren't they wonderful? I couldn't pick a favorite. I had to take all three. Another great find was this garden flag with the gnomes. Look at that. Keep life simple. Oh, I just love those three little characters here. Uh, such beautiful, vibrant colors. I know it's going to decorate my garden beautifully. And by the way, they do sell a flagpole as well. $2 value and such a nice addition to your garden bed. And then I found these adorable figurines. I couldn't believe my eyes. Look at the beautiful pastel colors. They're not big, but they're just so cute. Not sure if I'm going to use them indoors or outdoors, but they're just so cute. <laughs> And I'm sorry to tell you, I never found these Fuzzy Friends gnomes at a Dollar Tree. Spoke to our manager and she said they had one box and it was gone in less than two hours. So I wonder if any of you, my besties, were lucky to find these. Let me know. And for those of you who didn't find them, I hope I inspired you today to create your own. Besides, theirs are just six inches tall. These guys are really big 12 inches plus the legs so <laughs> these are so much fun to make and if you like to add the little ears you can do that just watch my bunny gnome video all right my besties so this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and you did hit the like button if you also consider subscribing that way you're gonna be in touch with me and not gonna miss anything